Hello YouTube, welcome to OpenTTD with Leutnant Joker. Yes, we're back at OpenTTD and this is a preview of what is coming up. And also, well, here is where I collect some of your guys' input into what we're going to do next. Uh, also, I want to uh, make a quick shout out for a few people. First of all, the people who are supporting me on Patreon. I have two Patreons now, Wayne Burgess or Burgess and Ross Walker. I hope I didn't uh, violate your names too much here. Thank you guys for supporting. If anybody doesn't know what Patreon is, you can see a link in the video description and also at the end of this video. Also, the music that I'm using in this Let's Play or the upcoming Let's Play, including this video, is from Kevin McLeod or McLeod. The same guy as the Highlander. <laughs> Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, he has some free music online. He has a uh, YouTube channel also linked in the video description with all the uh, credit information for the songs that I'm using. Check him out. Has some free uh, songs there for use in YouTube videos and other stuff. If you use it in something where you can't credit him, there's also a license option where you can buy a cheap license for songs. So that's pretty cool. He has all kinds of music and there's pretty good stuff there. Um, yes, to OpenTTD. I already told you that I'm planning a new Let's Play. I already updated the extra that I'm using, the game executable a slight bit, just a minor change. Uh, regarding tree growth because I will most likely go for a tropical setting and the tropical trees didn't grow as I planned them to uh, due to my change to the um, well to the setting in um, temperate I in tropical uh, setting I also want trees in the lowlands and also in the Ar subarctic landscape I want a little more trees subarctic simply because in that kind of um, terrain, that kind of landscape, you see a lot more trees, even in the lowlands. And subtropical is, of course, full of vegetation, so that should be a little bit different. So I changed that slightly just for these two. Uh, also for toilets, I believe, but who cares about that? So the thing that I'm planning to do is a map that looks a little bit like this. Um, I'm leaving the industry away just to speed up the map generation process but of course uh, those will be in place the starting date will probably be 1830 um, due to the fact that that is the first uh, year where any trains are available in the train sets that I'm using and which sets that I'm that I'm using or planning to use I will show you in a second let me quickly generate a map for you you can see there's gonna be quite a lot of water 50% water and you will see what the map roughly will look like generated by the settings that I'm planning to use I'm zooming out all the way so this is kind of landscape I'm going for a rectangular uh, shape on purpose um, if I'm not completely wrong we used a 1k by 1k map last time um, well this time we have two centuries to play so <laughs> I'm uh, doubling it up and since on square map sizes you can't double it up I would uh, make it times four and that's just too much making rectangular nice change of pace um, haven't seen anybody who play on a rectangular map so much so that might be interesting uh, it's a little bit of an island setup um, which is not really an island I, I'm actually considering this um, to be a little bit of a coastline that is kind of um, well going into the ocean but the coastline is starting to turn into all kinds of uh, islandish features but there is actually mainland here somewhere so that's kind of the idea behind this you can also say it's islands who cares the point is that there's a lot of water uh, we have quite a lot of connected landmass, but not really connected uh, in straight lines. So if you want to go from here to here, 
your option will probably be airplanes or ships because I cannot build a bridge over here. Uh, more on bridges later. So this is what it's gonna look like. Um, I hope you like this setup. I think it might be interesting to play. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. A lot of people said let's play subtropical so that might be nice. Um, while we're on the map, let me quickly go into um, what industry set that I'm going to use and what other new GRFs. This is pretty much what I'm going to use. If you're wondering what the hell this is, um, I can link you to that. I, I'm probably going to put a uh, link in the video description. This is basically a new GRF adding new GRF types that are just named like this and don't do anything just so you can put something in here that actually uh, put some order in here you absolutely don't need those it's just visuals that's all these do basically these are new grfs that do nothing but have a name anyway um this is basically just the big button so you can see the ui better i'm using tanzanian town names uh, just to give it a more exotic feel i guess there's also an option to use South African names, but South African names, well, they don't really sound that exotic because they mostly sound English or Dutch, so that doesn't really sound African or anywhere tropical. So this is the only uh, name set where I can actually get purely African names that also sound non-Europeans, but purely African. Um, Landscape and trees, of course. Uh, I don't even know whether the trees do anything in the subtropical setting, but I have them in there anyway. Uh, the terrain mostly, so I don't have the grid lines. Uh, the houses are actually interesting. You can see here. Um, not only does this new GRF change the way cities build their houses and how they expand, uh, they also just look very nice, and I think they fit this setting, as you can see. Let me find an actually bigger city. Uh, I think these, this looks nice. This will of course change. This is the uh, 19th century look. Uh, the cities will change over time. Uh, but they look very nice even in the later uh, centuries. The, uh, you have the larger buildings in town, uh, just suburban um, residential areas at the edges. It looks really nice. So um, this was the kind of the best uh, kind of town set that I found to also fit kind of in this setting. It's UK houses, but I think it fits the subtropical uh, thing also. I mean, like this being uh, colonial, um, well, cities basically, where uh, this basically being a British colonists living here and on the outsides there, as you can see, there's, uh, what are those called, uh, crofts there, where, Maybe some rich farmers are living or whatever. So yeah, it looks kind of nice. I'm using the uh, American road replacement set. So these are American roads. I think they look nice. They're also the only road set that I found that works without problems uh, with all the bridges that I have. Because most road sets actually destroy the bridges for some reason, I can't get them to work with the bridges, even the default bridges, so I don't really know how these road works, uh, road GRFs are supposed to work. Also, the, the American one kind of fits, I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether any uh, African nation or, I don't know, a South American or Caribbean, wherever this is supposed to be. Um, country ever uses the uh, American style of these orange stripes in the middle but I kind of think they look really nice and I think they fit also the town style pretty well so I decided to go with those combined airport set well that's basically the airport set that I used in my last let's play also because before I switched them around for the total town replacement uh, based airports so you already know those uh, I may have switched the uh, layout of the buildings, the, the looks around a little bit, but not that much. The tram tracks, you already know. I uh, demoed them for a short while, I think I can also show them to you again. The, the main thing about uh, FUBAR's tram tracks is basically that you can build them on the terrain and they have a proper, uh, well, 
the proper terrain below them. So if you build them off-road, they will look like this. I'll also use the narrow supports for the electrical system. So that's, uh, that's that. I think you know those already. Generic buffer stops, that's just uh, some stuff that we have when we build stations. Those are just the generic buffer stops, these four here. Nothing major there. Uh, the Japan set, this is basically an entire set of stuff for a Japan Japanese scenario. I'm just using the tracks. Um, for the simple reason that they are a little bit like new tracks. As you can see, there's all kinds of different things that we haven't unlocked yet. But, uh, well, I should probably unlock that by changing the date. Let's say 2050 and you will see the towns also change as you can see this is what they will look later I think that looks pretty nice um, Like here, let me actually find a bigger town so I can show you what I meant with those small residential areas like this This is what a town will later look like. I think that looks fantastic. So that's that's that um, the rail types are basically well I'm going to build them quickly for you um, that's that also gives me a chance to uh, show you off something else whenever I build something in the new let's play that's not just a bus stop but anything bigger or configure stuff or rename stuff uh, I might either cut that out like renaming stuff stuff that is really really not uh, interesting at all unless you want me to keep that 100% like last time everything that I do I should show you tell me that also in the comments uh, Otherwise, I will cut out the non interesting stuff that is nothing to do with anything constructive Just stupid stuff like naming vehicles and stuff like that if you want to see that as well No problem, but then I will also speed it up. So here comes the first speed up section. I'm gonna build a um, a version of every single one of these types, but uh, before I do that let me quickly allow me to do that pause, otherwise grass will grow over them right away. So, see you after I built them. There we go. As you can see, there's again different lines for different speeds. Uh, electrified, there's a third rail uh, variant, third rail and uh, uh, overhead wires. There's an urban line, electrified and urban line, third rail powered, uh, which is basically a metro line, I'd say. Um, maglev construction. That one is replaced by, uh, let me show you that new GRF. That one is replaced by the Shanghai Maglev inspired track set. The Shang that Shanghai Maglev is actually the Trans Rapid. That is the real Trans Rapid. The Trans Rapid track that I used last time um, was the, the one that looked optically like the test track in Germany. Germany actually never built a production, or production, not a production, a commercial line for the Trans Rapid, but we exported it to China. And their track is not actually built on stilts, but it is, uh, well, kind of looking like this. Look it up and Google if you want to know. Um, so that's that. And however, not going to use the Shanghai Trans Rapid, but the train set that I'm using does have some kind of maglev train. So that will be able to travel on this. As you can see there, the consortium Gemini, whatever that is, I don't really know it, but uh, I'm guessing it's either an American or an English thing. So that's going to be able to uh, travel on that one. Uh, otherwise you can see different depots, different kinds of tracks, not as many I believe as in new tracks, but I mean we have four different non-electrified, four electrified. Um, two kind of metro tracks and two kind of urban metro tracks so I think that's more than enough um, for our purposes it saves me a little bit of upgrade time I believe so that's that I think they look nice I can let the time run a little bit so the uh, construction tiles go away 
but then pause so the grass doesn't grow over them that's what they look like i think they look pretty nice um let me go back to the settings uh, also let me know what you think about that speed up thing um i think that will save us a little bit of time and make the episodes a little bit more fun to watch uh, the monkey bar bridge, that's basically the bridge that I um, had in the last one already. Um, that's basically the one replacing the tubular ones. Why the hell doesn't it build it? Oh, there we go. Uh, and I just noticed it doesn't work, so I need to probably reconfigure some of this stuff. Um, I will do that off screen. Uh, for now, let me just move it at the end, then it should work. There we go. That's basically the bridge. You've probably seen that. I used it extensively on my Transrapid track last time. Uh, those bridges are in... Uh, I probably just need to put it below the total bridge replacement set. Where the hell do I have that even? Yeah, so I probably need to move it just below here, then it should probably work. I'm going to figure that out before I start the let's play, of course. Yes, then it, then it works. Uh, the other um, bridges that we have in the total bridge replacement set, which I think I didn't use last time also. Um, oh, I'm running out of cash. Let me quickly give myself a lot of cash by cheats. That's why I couldn't build it before. There we go. We have that one. We have this one. We have this one. One suspension bridge. Cantilever. This one. This one. Which one was that? That was this one. And this one, then we have a few short ones. This one. This one. And this one, I think those are all concrete, maybe. Yeah, that should be all of them. Um, so those are the bridges that we're going to use. For cars, they look slightly different, I believe. For cars, they all, I also don't replace the tubular ones I think so they remain the same uh, okay that was a tram bridge now but who cares um, I quickly remove that one but as you can see the tubular uh, bridges are still in place for the cars I think some are also looking different for the cars like the suspension bridges for example as you can see that one looks slightly different um, that one looks slightly different and that one looks slightly different so you can see there's there's lots of cool bridges and as you can see they all work with the road mm -hmm. so the road doesn't break the bridges which is kind of good especially the wooden bridge is usually completely broken let me try where's the wooden bridge oh, the wooden bridge is probably not available anymore due to the time of year another time of year the uh, the year that we're in any case uh, not wanting to make this longer than I need to uh, this is all the all kinds of stations basically the ones that you've already seen plus a few more minus a few it's just basically all kinds of train stations I'm gonna demo all of those uh, the new CC set basically replaces the old in-game colors with a, with a new set of colors uh, which you can see here those are the new colors we'll come back to those in a moment raise landscaping costs that's basically what I'm uh, supposed to not do since I don't want to do much landscaping I made that expensive last time I don't think it will be that important this time um, because desert country is pretty flat anyway um, Industry replacement set. I'm going to that in a moment. Um, okay, now go to the vehicles first. Um, I'm using a mo most more advanced version of fish for uh, for ships. And to show you what is available there right now, just a quick glimpse. Not going to show you too much uh, because it's kind of a spoiler. 
Um, the aircraft set we already had last time. I'm also going to use sailing ships. I'm not going to demo those. Those are going to be a little bit of a surprise if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, but early on, we're going to use sailing ships. Um, then for road vehicles, I'm using a combination of the generic road vehicle set uh, 2.0 plus the heavy equipment set. The uh, road vehicles are basically generic versions. I don't think they exist. But um, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Why I'm using that especially is because early on, which you can't see now, uh, we will have horse-drawn carriages since we don't have a combustion engine uh, yet that works for cars. Um, so we're going to use horse-drawn carriages very early on. Um, then we are of course going to use all kinds of trucks and buses and the heavy equipment set has stuff like logging trucks and crawlers and uh, articulated crawlers and special mining trucks and all kinds of stuff that has very big loads and very heavy and some of them have like 15 trailers and, and crap like that. All kinds of machinery, even f the small forklifts are in there. That's kind of cool, so I might use that for uh, short distance stuff or for mines. I don't know, just more variety there. Um, the rail vehicles, I'm going to use um, something from uh, Pika, I believe he's called. Is there somewhere anything in the things here? License. Yeah, Pika Bird. That's what he's we really call himself. David uh, Delliston. Pika Bird. Probably well known to anybody who's looking a little bit more into OpenTTD. Uh, he has two sets the North American replacement set and the UK set plus some add-ons uh, since they're both by him they're compatible and they kind of uh, work with each other for example there are cabooses or brake wagons if you don't know what that is look uh, look up wikipedia uh, the brake wagons of the north american set basically work on the trains from the uk set and the other way around so also the running costs and all that is a little bit balanced um, I don't think I can combine any other train sets into this without completely messing up the uh, running costs and stuff like that. You can configure it via parameters a little bit, but uh, most of the time you have stuff completely off. And um, I'm also not using the 2cc set, train, the Trains of the World, first of all, because I kind of want them from uh, a certain group of countries only or just one single country only and North America and UK together feels kind of right especially since in this area of time that we're going to start I think the UK and the North in North America the US had the most trains especially in North America since they were basically uh, connecting their entire country with trains Later on, the Europeans have more, um, but nowadays the Europeans, I think, and the Asians have m much more advanced uh, rail network. But back then, th these were the machines to go for. So I think this is a very nice setup. I don't think we need any more because there's lots of trains in this, which I can show you uh, in, a, in a second. And also they are balanced against each other and everything else doesn't really work and 2cc first of all I have all kinds of countries and I don't really like that um, and Because we're ha having kind of a setting here and then I have some trains from Austria some trains from Russia some trains from South Africa some trains from Brazil it Doesn't really fit in my opinion uh, also, I don't know when we're in the subtropical setting and we have trains from Switzerland. I don't think that will really work. So I think this works nicely. Quite a few trains here. This is of course not all of them. These are just the ones that are now unlocked for the time that we're playing at. There's loads of loads of stuff, uh, especially very early on stuff. Also the first one starting in 1830. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, the one with the British flag are from the British set, the rest is from the American set, so I think that works very, very nicely. 
uh, the 2cc set also doesn't have enough different wagon types in my opinion so that's also a reason why I go for these um, anything else that I haven't talked about yes the first industry set I'm going to put something on screen now that is basically the industry tree for that set as you can see there's kinds of uh, plantations and mines and then you have stuff like port trading post and bulk terminal what the hell is that well uh, this set is called heart of darkness which from what I know is a book about some kind of uh, colonial exploitation story um, I don't know whether it's completely fictional or actually based on something I don't remember um, but the, the set is basically based on that and so it's an industry that kind of simulates colonial exploitation um, which means you get all the resources out of the country ship them to a port and at that port you get stuff from the homeland like supplies and other stuff back um, that's kind of a nice setting I think especially because we have all these kinds of ports and stuff uh, where we have to kind of simulate going by uh, by ship away to the homeland anyway so we can uh, just use ships already to transport to and from there also so we actually have lots of ships going on I think that's a nice setup um, as you can see we have the usual sinks in the town the building yard the uh, grocery store and um, or the general store rather and the hotel so um, I think that's nice I'm probably going to only deliver stuff to the actual town industries those three and not to the town houses themselves anymore I'm going to use them only for mail and buses um, so passengers so uh, that's going to be that I think that's a nice setup a little bit less complicated than the full FIRS but for the setting that we're using here I think it's fine and as you can see there's more than enough goods to transport more than enough cargo types so I think that will work out nicely um, also since we have lots and lots of water on this map uh, there will be more than enough places where these trading posts ports and bulk terminals can be placed so we will have enough of them um, and the last one we I think we wouldn't have enough water and most of those things would be placed on lakes Which is kind of ridiculous and here they will actually be placed most of the time on proper on the proper sea on the high sea um, Yeah, what else did I want from you guys? Well First of all general feedback to all this stuff that I've uh, showed you are you happy with this do you like the setup do you like the terrain do you like the cities do you like the new GRFs that I'm using um, do you like this entire sorry this entire setup and the looks of this stuff and uh, one more thing that I wanted to know from you guys is first of all what are we going to call the company um, my own name I will probably still put in there but if you have any idea for my name that I'm going to use the company owner make any suggestions as well but it's mostly about the company name uh, the company colors I'm going to put the colors on the screen again um, there will be a color scheme um, of course two colors um, I'm giving you a selection for two colors I'm going to change them around maybe uh, this is the main color as you can see that will show up over here and show up over the stations so this one probably should be pink or something maybe uh, oh pink is not even available so that's great um, just tell me some combination remembering the first one is the main color I might switch them around if I don't like it but I'm definitely gonna keep the colors that are most voted for um, here you can see these uh, names not always have something to do with what the color actually looks like that's due to that new GRS changing the colors around a little bit for example this isn't pink this is dark red um, but as you can see these are basically the colors um, choose two of them in a combination the first one being the main color I might use that if it isn't uh, going to burn my eyes out <laughs> so please no joke colors please make something that uh, actually works remember you will probably have to look at it for about a hundred episodes or so um, 
Aside from that, I want to know from you guys going into the advanced settings here, especially this. What do we use here? Um, do we use metric units? Do we use um, imperial units? And if so, what for what? Do we use kilowatts? Do we use horsepower? Do we use imperial horsepower? Uh, all these kinds of things for speed units, vehicle power units, weight, volume, tractive effort and height. Uh, please tell me what you want there. Um, what else? Yes, what kind of currency are we going to use? Are we going to use pound? Any Anything else? There's also a custom currency available, so we can use pretty much anything. Just choose something. I would right now tendency since the British Empire was pretty much the biggest colonial thing and we're using English trains I would go for pound um, also which which side are we going to drive both for the road and for the trains for the trains of course that's not a setting that's how I'm going to lay out the tracks but I still want to know uh, which side of the road should the vehicles be driving and which side of the track of a double track layout should the trains be driving should they drive on the left or on the right um, also, I want to know from you guys what should be the maximum tr uh, tunnel and most, more, more importantly bridge length be. Because remember that will kind of force me to use ships more often if for example I cannot bridge something like this. I think this should be still uh, available as a bridge length. Right now I think I set it to 10. So that should still be, well you see that's already 11 so I would only be able to do this. Um, yeah, that I can bridge. Anything more than that is no longer possible. Um, that would be 10 for bridges. Um, if you allow me tunnels to be longer, I would have a tendency for bridges 10, tunnels 15 or 20 maybe. Um, tell me what you think. Uh, don't tell me no bridges at all because that's, that's bullshit, that doesn't work. But uh, for now I would have a tendency to bridges 10, tunnels 20. Um, if you think that is good, tell me, otherwise make other suggestions. Um, oh yeah, in terms of the um, new GRFs, I have one thing that I will leave open for you because I cannot really decide on anything um, and I'm not really uh, sure that I even care. Um, I'm going to use some signals here. Let me use first a standard set of block signals. Then I'm going to switch them around right here in the middle. There, 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 and there. So you can see them all the same. I'm going to use with the semaphores, which are the mechanical ones. Where do we have them? I think here, 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 and here. And I'm going to switch those around graphically because I don't I can't decide for a new GRF set that brings the signals that look best. Since you guys have to look at them for uh, quite an amount of time, I'm going to show you a variety and you just tell me which ones I'm supposed to use. I'm using right now the Japan the Japan set signals. Um, the ones that are also available. Let me see, we have North American signals. Those look like that. We have Dutch signals. Which look like that. We have the German signals, which I think I already used last time. Which look like this. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And we have the default ones, of course. Which look like this. 
Currently I have a tendency to either the default ones or the Japanese ones. The other ones are all looking a little bit strange. But you decide, I don't really care. Uh, I'll, I'm going to figure out which one means what anyway over time. So you tell me which of the signal types you want. And I think that's that. That's all that I wanted from you guys. Um, this is the preview of the new Let's Play that's going to come up. This is not the map, by the way. This is just what one map might look like. I'm going to regenerate them. Uh, and I will, of course, give you the seed again so you can generate the exact same map since you have the exact same executable. And um, by the way, if you want to generate well, no, it doesn't matter. Forget about it. Just wanted to say, if you want to generate the last map that we had in the last Let's Play, you need to use the old exit, but th that will work with this one as well, since it doesn't change anything about uh, temperate. So, forget about that. Never mind. Um, since you have the executable, you can generate the exact same map, since I will give you all the settings and the seed for the terrain generator. Okay, guys. Um, that's going to be it. Um, this time I'm also going to place a Company HQ in one of the first episodes. I will ask you guys where was, where I'm supposed to place it. This time we will do that. We actually never did that in the old Let's Play. And that's going to be it. I'm looking forward to all your opinions, to nice company names, company colors, and to your suggestions about units, driving side currency, tunnel bridge length and the signals and all that other stuff so that's going to be it for now keep your heads up folks i'll see you on the next one when this let's play starts